You know, here at Life Church, we say, but we also wholeheartedly believe that the local church isn't about a building, it's about the people. People sold out to living out their faith in their everyday lives and allowing God to use them to make a difference. And today, I'd love to show you just a few ways of how that's taking place. Coming up today, we'll head out to Albany, New York to see how a life group is setting out to be the church beyond the walls of a building. Then we'll celebrate with hundreds who told the world about their new faith in Christ through baptism. And finally, we go one-on-one -on -one with Pastor Amy Groeschel to hear how our church can help meet the needs of our community through adoption. We've got all of that coming up right now. You know, you think of Albany and you think about it as being the capital of New York. You think of this big, elaborate city. It's a large city with a small vibe. The people are fantastic in the way that it's like a melting pot, and you can see so many people from different backgrounds and different cultures. Uh, it's just a big, young, professional environment, I'd say. It's a very ambitious place. There is a, a lot going on. With our society today and how it's so focused on so many objects that people try to put in their life to fill spaces. But I think the biggest need is for real relationships, right, where we're having real conversations and not just shallow, how's the weather, you know, how's your day going? Once you build those relationships, they get to see Christ through your actions, your deeds, your words. Some of the great things that we can do as individuals to bring that message to people is to be a reflection of God. By us receiving His love, His mercy, His grace, it should just kind of flow right out of us. And I hope that they realize it's Jesus and me and just how He flows out through my character. Just love people. It doesn't matter what kind of background they come from or who they are. We're not just going to church once a week. We want to build a relationship where the people that we're interacting with trust us to have the hardest conversations. With Life Church popping up and the Word of God to reach people, that's what they need. It's Jesus, it's His Word. It's not about a building. It's not about a city. It's about a community. It's about having relationships with our neighbors and living life together. We have hope in this world, and we can get through things because of Christ. I hope that when people think about me, uh, they see that there is something different about me. And the thing that's different is Jesus. Some of our favorite weekends here at Life Church are Baptism Weekend, as we see hundreds of people tell the world about their new faith in Christ and our last baptism weekend was no exception. Check it out. If baptism is your next step, I'd encourage you to talk to your campus staff or sign up today inside of the Life Church app available to download wherever you download your apps from. Hey, Life Church. As many of you know, November is National Adoption Month here in the United States, and I can't think of anyone that has a bigger heart for this topic and this issue than our very own Pastor Amy Groeschel. Amy, I'd love to hear from you about why this is such a significant thing for you and why it is and why it should be one for our church. Well, thankfully, God awakened my heart to this great need. And I always looked at the verse of James 1.27 and thought that was someone else's calling to care for the orphan. But I realize now it's for the whole church. It's important for all of us to respond. And there's different ways that we can respond today. We can begin to pray. You can begin to learn, get online and study and find out what the, uh, the need is. Uh, you can also begin to serve and support various ministries that support the orphan or maybe God will reach your heart in such a way and call you out to foster or adopt. Sure, so we can, we can pray for these needs. We can support families and organizations, and some of us may be even prompted to adopt. 
Is that what you're saying? Absolutely. All right. It's a big call church, but none more greater for us to fulfill as a church. And many of you may have some questions about some next steps. I've encouraged you to connect with your campus staff and learn about what you can do in taking a really significant and unique role in leading kids to become fully devoted followers of Christ. I love being a part of a church where our lives are not only changed, but then God uses us to change the lives of others. Thank you so much for how you consistently give, how you serve, and how you pray. God is truly using you to make a difference around the world as we lead people to become fully devoted followers of Christ. Christ.